The fourth example of using the multiplication rule asks, how many ways can six people line up for a photograph so that men and women alternate? This part of the question, namely men and women alternate, implies that there have got to be three men and three women in the group because that's the only way that you can get men and women to alternate. Again, you as the photographer have six decisions on your hand. And the first decision is who to place at the far left. Well, you can choose any of these people, any of the three men and three women, to put on the far left. So there are six different ways that decision can be made. Once you've made that decision, if the person here is a man, then there are three women that can be right next to them. If the person here is a woman, then there are three men that can go here. Now for the next chair, you have put a man and a woman here, so you have two choices here, two choices here, and then one choice and one choice. And again, what the multiplication rule says is that those different ways of making the decisions need to be multiplied. 6 times 3 is 18, times 2 is 36, times 2 is 72 different ways that you can line up six people for a photograph so that men and women alternate. Now I'm going to do a little bit of uh, foreshadowing here and this is uh, where all of this uh, multiplication rule business leads to probability. Let's say that the question is three men and three women line up for a photograph in a random order what is the probability that men and women alternate? Well in this case the probability that men and women alternate will simply be the 72 ways wh where they uh, they do alternate divided by the 720 different possible ways to line them up for a photograph so the probability is one-tenth that men and women will alternate and that's the way uh, probability problems are going to be solved using combinatorics like the multiplication rule.